everyone. Welcome to Bifin with Shruti. Today we are very much excited to share a unique and creative project that I've been working on. This is types of microorganisms. It is a clay representation of various microorganisms and the materials that I've used uh, first of all is the MDF board. Now for this MDF board you don't have to worry what is this where you get it. Uh, this is simply the uh, base of the cakes that are sold. Uh, I've uh, saved the basis of the cakes after cutting the cake we actually throw this board away so i saved it so that i thought i can make some uh, clay projects so this is the mdf board which is from an old uh, cake base now uh, also you need a permanent marker which does not get erased and uh, you require scale and the most important thing is the clay that we require this is simple air dry clay on amazon you'll get it just for 90 rupees or 99 rupees but i recommend you to try purchase from the local bookstore where, where you will get it uh, around 80 rupees itself and uh, with one clay packet you can make you can make uh, dozens of clay projects and uh, you, uh, these are the tools that you will get in the packet itself okay and also you need a uh, gum so i'm using the fabric glue here okay so these are the things that we require you can instead use the fevicol as well so let us start the project without any further delay before we start all we require is first let's divide the mdf board into blocks uh, so that we will know uh, in what space we need to prepare the organism at what height and what width okay so first i am going to keep the heading of types of microorganisms i am going to make the blocks so that we can easily uh, create the organisms okay so let's do it first let's start with the heading types of microorganisms this project is useful for all the classes from class 8 you will have the Listen directly, but every student right from class 3rd to 10th can do this project because you've been introduced to this. So after putting the types of microorganisms heading, we can go by dividing. For the division, you just have to take the scale and draw the lines. I'm using the top part for the bacteria and the algae. So as it's a permanent marker, uh, it will see it dries really quick and you don't have the problem of smudging and uh, all that. So that is the reason I suggested you to use the permanent marker. This is for the bacteria and the algae. For bacteria, there are many types. So I uh, left a large portion for bacteria and this is for algae you can use to, uh, part I mean, you can make a partition so that you can use this for nostoc and this for chlamydomonas. And down you can make the same way for protozoan and virus the first half you can use it for protozoa and the last one you can use it for virus and now the last one is for fungus uh, as the project itself is about the microorganisms and i forgot and i actually made the multicellular mushroom uh, so instead of this we here we'll reciprocate uh, the fungus will represent fungus with the help of yeast and uh, yeast or spirochyra okay whatever is easier yeast is generally easier to represent so we'll go with east and uh, um, not spirogyra i'm so sorry uh, east and the bread mound okay so let's go with this after making the partitions like this uh, please note down the names so that you won't get confused the first one is bacteria and the next one is algae in algae the first organism is going to be non-stock so for all the names you just square block like this and the next organism here we are going to do is chlamydomonas the MDF board you can just purchase a 100 rupees cake and then you will obviously get the cake as well as the board. So protozoan heading I am putting it here. And the name of the organism that we are going to do it's Euglena. Uh, we've already prepared protozoans like amoeba and paramecium in two separate videos. I put the links in the description box so that if you want to do amoeba and paramecium you can do it from that. As I've already did amoeba and paramecium so this time I wanted to include something else that's why I'm including Euglena. So the next one is virus. So the organism that we used here is influenza virus. So viruses are, uh, you know, in the case of like, they are neither the living nor the non-living. So they are kind of, you know, separate entities because once they are outside the host, they live as non-living and once they're inside the host, they become living entities. So, but still, uh, generally when we study the microorganisms classification, we study them as well. So this is how I made it. Have a look. So types of microorganisms. Bacteria, algae, protozoan, fungi, virus. Okay, now let's start making bacteria first. For the bacteria, these are cocci shaped bacteria, and here I've shown you Bacillus, Vibrio, and Spirillum. So, first let's make cocci bacteria. For the cocus bacteria, I'm just using uh, any random clay. 
seal all your clay packets once it becomes dry it will be of no use so one random round this is cocus okay so write down cocus and square square it i mean sorry i just box it okay let's go with the diplo cocus for the diplo cocus they will have two circle shaped uh, uh, parts so we have to make two circles here one and the second one let's do just join both of them and you're having the diplo cocus you can put a diplo coca here box it again now let's go with the strepto coca strepto coca are generally in the form of chains for example in case of strepto coccus pneumoniae we have the chained uh, bacteria so let us prepare the chains so first you make a, a rod shaped and rod shaped clay part and just pick small small identical pieces and then from then you make them into balls okay so that you can get equal sized balls i think this will be enough so this is this comes under the streptococcus which are chain shaped bacteria so not chain shaped they are spherical shaped arranged in chains okay so this is streptococci for example you can also write down the example here it is streptococcus pneumoniae okay now then we can go with the staphylococcus you can see uh, we are we are kind of exceeding the place in order to make sure we are not exceeding the place draw a line so that all the cocci bacteria will stay here itself okay now uh, i have some more clay left let us add two more uh, balls to the chain i don't want to occupy staphylococcus place so let us curve this a bit okay this is more like the back, uh, chain streptococci chain now let's go with the uh, staphylococcus for the staphylococcus take uh, you need to arrange the organisms in bunches now the bunches can be uh, arranged uh, following patterns but uh, i did not follow any specific pattern and i just kept on adding the balls okay so as of now we are not very much into the patterns because till 10th class we don't focus on the patterns you can make the balls in any way okay so same like the like before make identical balls and start placing them uh what you have to do is you have to glue all of them together while you're preparing itself make sure you're gluing them okay else what happens it may easily come off okay so glue them when you paste them i'm not uh, gluing them now because the video becomes very lengthy and then we may lose generally the interest so uh, i'm not gluing them as of now okay so i made a, a batch of four here and i keep on increasing the batch okay now keep on increasing them add a second row two more balls make sure that it's looking like a bun but not a mess uh, i think i messed up here just a second yeah and there you go all the cocci shaped bacteria are done and we are now naming it here you can just move it a little bit up okay so here we'll write it as staphylococcus okay so with this we are done with the uh, all cocci shaped bacteria and now we'll go with the other types the first one is the bacillus now coming to the bacillus bacillus is kind of rod shaped bacteria for example the lactobacillus that we see in the curd okay so for the rod shaped bacteria what you can do is simply take a pinch of clay and one second yeah so simply take a pinch of clay and make it a, into a long cylindrical shape and just cut it i mean cut it in the sense just take identical pieces okay identical pieces roll them again into simple rods just like this okay one this bacteria preparation is like bacteria is very easy to make because there are no details and they are simply prokaryotes and there are no details you don't have to go into necessary details so it's very simple to make if you want to uh, get 
lots of things worthy you know, you know <laughs> uh, lots of compliments from your friends and teachers you can take one one project as such one day you can take bacteria and uh, one day you can take algae to school and so that you can uh, you know make your friends really surprised okay so all this come under the rod shaped bacteria make sure you're not making them too big that they end up looking like carrots okay um i'm sorry now once the bacillus is done you will just label them as bacillus and then we'll go for the vibrio in the spirillum yeah arrange them in different shapes so that they don't look odd and the... yes i hope you are now done now let's go as the bacillus are done let's label them as the bacillus are now done let's go with the vibrio the vibrio are the common shaped bacteria and the one famous example of vibrio shaped bacteria that attacks humans is the vibrio cholerae which causes the disease cholera now let's go with making vibrio a vibrio shaped bacteria i mean the common shaped bacteria so with a trick a pinch of clay and you can use whatever color com combinations you like um i'm very bad at color combinations so i use random colors so don't mind uh, my color combinations okay uh, now first of all make a ball uh, make it elongated a little and then hold it i'm so sorry yeah hold it like this and just make a small u shape okay and then press it a little and there you go your bacteria is ready uh, for more rounded shape the tools that they are given in the along with the air dye clay you can use it make it little uh, more rounded okay so that it looks little neat and once that is done paste it here make sure it is little yeah like this and just add the small tail part it has to be very yeah this is enough okay yes so this is vibrio shaped uh, bacteria that is comma shaped this is vibrio example you can note it down as vibrio cholerae now we'll go with the spirillum spirillum are generally uh, spiral shaped bacteria they are a little kind of you know uh, difficult to make you cannot exactly make the spiral shaped bacteria so in case of spirillum uh, we will we will just make a you know twisty turned uh, bacteria and that represents spirillum enough okay so but don't do not think that this is the exact shape of the bacteria no we are just trying to uh, represent them in the uh, clay models so this is not how they exactly look but yes this is the rough shapes never ever waste the clay put it back if you are not requiring it i even put back even a drop of clay whatever is left i put it back in the pouch so that i can make even a small flagell out of it so many make many kind of loops like this and stick it as it is to make sure that they are near and do not look weird yes like this yes so you can put it as it is yes perfect and uh, you can cut this part because here we we are going to get the clay flagellas okay now you can use any other color i'm putting this back so you can see the little yellow that is left so i used them for making the flagella this is one generally using this kind of rough it, uh, it just will give the natural look okay once you get this make it into two flagella ends okay one okay and the another one is here these tools get very very handy make sure you are using them and this you can put it here 
make sure that you're showing the ends properly else it won't look good blend any extra portion that is there blend it together okay if, if, if it's not coming nice make sure you are removing the extra part not to worry do it a number of times again till it becomes perfect okay i do understand the clay is little sticky but it requires patience to get some appreciation right yes so here's the model it is ready now we'll label it as spiralum okay so just box it again and yes the bacteria are ready i hope you can see this right the cocus and the bacillus vibrio and spiralum okay so this is regarding the bacteria now we'll go with the nostoc for the nostoc it's very easy make sure you're making a chain of green colored balls i'm uh, I, i'm hoping that you can see the nostoc here but from here we are going to make it a little you know uh, we have to go little meticulously because we have to uh, label the parts as well so okay till here let it um, be the part one in the part two i'll make the algae protozoa fungi and the virus so see you in the next video bye bye stay tuned everyone